Good evening, I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News Brief and Weather Forecast. As persons who reside in the Cayman Islands come back to the islands, civil servants and the government continue to work to make the process as seamless and safe for those returning and the community at large. Those who want to return must follow a process by applying first for permission to come back. The new Travel Command portal launched on Monday. We've had 510 requests for travel, and of those requests, we have issued 145 certificates to travel to date, which is a pretty good number um, relative to, to the 510 requests that we've gotten in. We've got teams of people that are out doing inspections of accommodations where people want to quarantine at residence, and as those inspections are done, as those accommodations are approved, through this new system, the approvals are done and persons are issued with electronic certificates to travel to the Cayman Islands. There are strict plans in place for those returning to the islands and officials have teams in place to ensure the, these are followed, as Dr. Ebanks Garcia explains. We've had about 800 travelers arrive so far for the month of October and of those travelers, 600 have been able to go home um, or to a private residence to, to quarantine. This has been enabled through the opportunity to include innovative technology through geofencing that we've introduced to the program as well as a mobile compliance team that does random checks of persons in home isolation. We've got a monitoring team that's monitoring an electronic dashboard ensuring that people are quarantining at their residence and um, responding to any alerts that they get. Having support systems in place for those returning has been key to ensuring persons in quarantine are taken care of and protected. In addition to monitoring individuals who are in quarantine, we've also stood up a new team. It's a travel support team, and they started uh, operational, being operationalized this week. The travel support team provides um, support to travelers where they have questions. So we got in an email just this morning from somebody whose air conditioning is no longer working in their home, and they're concerned that they're not going to make it through the rest of their quarantine with their central air out. So those requests come to the travel support team. Any requests from persons who need to seek non-emergency medical care during their period of quarantine, and arrangements need to be made for that. Um, anybody who's having trouble getting their groceries delivered or any challenges during their quarantine period, there's a team of eight individuals who is ready to receive those calls and they support those individuals with those with those needs. Now for more on Travel Cayman, you can go online to gov.ky and search for Travel Cayman. Nominations for our Seafaring Heroes Day celebrations in 2021 will close on October 31st, so residents are encouraged to get their nominations in. You know, a lot of them are no longer with us and uh, we want family members, you know, to fill out the nomination form. It's a very short time, but uh, we can do it if everyone, uh, you know, get the initiative to fill out the forms and get them back in as soon as possible. And the nominations, we need, we need them to come in. We have all the forms at the, at the Seafarers Hall. The office manager there can assist you, mm -hmm. or you can go online. Minister of Culture, the Honorable Dwayne Seymour says, quote, our heritage is written by seafarers, and though we aim to celebrate them next year, we ought to be doing it every day, end quote. To nominate your hero, you can pick up a, a form from the Seafarers Association Hall where assistance in filling out your nominations is offered. You can also get forms uh, at the Government Administration Building, or you may go online to celebrate cayman.ky or the Ministry of Health.gov.ky for those e-copies. On Cayman Brack, nomination forms are available at the District Administration Building. Completed forms can then be submitted to NHD at gov.ky or in person. Today's high temperature, as we turn now to weather, reached 89 degrees, low 78. We can expect partly cloudy skies with a 60% chance of showers and some thunder. Showers may become locally heavy at times, leading to possible flooding of low-lying areas. Winds are from the east to southeast, 5 to 10 knots with higher gusts. Seas will be slight with wave heights of 1 to 3 feet. Now a trough across the Western Caribbean is expected to produce scattered showers and thunder across the Cayman Islands area over the next 24 hours. And that ends today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush. Have a great night.